so the key point i'm trying to make is instead of propagating the carry this way i am going to now propagate the carry this way i don't have to add the carry immediately to the left and that's what you were saying you can add the carry later though it's not a functionality problem it turns out it's only a delay optimization that we get okay this is what i'm going to do right so now let's start filling out what should be my you know half adder full adder first row all are only half adder because it's only the partial products the two ands i'm going to add that's all right therefore this is a half adder half adder half adder what about the last one just one and actually i can even bypass that go and add it to the next bit you know i can bring this guy sort of here i will not do it for now okay i'll keep this as a half adder for now you will see the reason why so i'm going to call it a half adder and ground the other input okay what about the next stage of course now where should the sum come the sum propagation has to be again like this correct one way to check what you are doing is correct or not remember i said that when you are trying to find zk it has to be all the xi yj such that i plus j is k so if you are for example you get z0 z1 z2 in z2 you should add only what x0 y2 x1 y1 and x2 y0 because the sum should always be so that is an easy check for you make sure that that is being propagated correctly so you have x1 y1 coming here this is uh, yeah maybe x x1 y1 x2 y0 and this one is what x0 y2 so it makes sense okay these are simple ways to check that your answer is you are doing the right thing so now <coughs> second row what are they all full adder third row yeah okay actually you can make it a half adder if you are so keen yes definitely you can make it a half adder right now clearly i have not taken into account those carry outs of my last row the sum has gone past right i can't say this is z3 for example because now the carry has got propagated downward right so is this z3 z3 is fine you are right so the other other guys is this z4 yeah why because the previous carry i have not added now right so the same carry propagation is going to happen like this and therefore i need to add more full adder blocks here yeah okay hold on it's not that easy because this guy will now give me a carry the last stage now i'm now i'm down to the last stage i can't do anything i have to propagate the carry sideways i can't i can't delay it any more right so this guys will give me a carry this will give me a carry okay so therefore yes maybe this can be like what a half adder this has to be a full adder full adder right what about the 
carry out from this state? Hmm? I have not yet accounted for that, right? So therefore, I need to put one more what half adder here, and I will get a carry out here. It turns out that this <coughs> last stage will give me all the sum bits. Will give me z4, z5, z6, z7. See out can be discarded because because we have now done extra adders we have put in right. That see out is basically just you can discard it if it's unsigned multiplication. Any any questions here? How will see out come? No no no. In the previous implementation the array multiplier z7 was the c out of the last adder here z7 is the sum bit of the last adder correct unfortunately i have drawn it badly so uh, yes sorry z z4 z5 z6 z7 Right? Any other any questions? Oh, what will happen to that carry out? Why will carry out always be zero? Correct. Yeah. Correct. You are absolutely right. This is what I said. You can take this product and simply plug it here. Right? No. Yeah. And therefore, I get rid of that block and actually instead of propagating to the carry. I am going to propagate that directly. That this bit is 0, right. So, the output of this block will be what? Oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry. You are wrong. Uh, I am wrong. I am wrong. This guy itself would have been x3, y1. Similarly, this x3, uh, x3, y2 would have come here. Correct, and thereby we would have avoided few more adders. You are right, but I will show you why I am not doing that. Okay, I am going to retain this as it is. Okay, yeah. How uh, how am I sure that C out will not matter? No, no. No, you are right, I know, I know. So, yeah, what he is saying is effectively, yeah, so I think what, what they are saying is right, C out will always be 0 because if you propagate this x3 y1 down and remove that half adder, you can basically remove this set of half adders, man. That is the idea, that is what they are saying because the other input to those half adders are 0, right. See, this input is 0, this input is 0 and so is this input, which means the sum is just one of the inputs. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. One of the bits is 0, right? X3, why not? There is no carry in here. Correct. I am removing all this. So that means that half adder is just going to take the partial product and pass it through. 
you agree with me it will just go through so this x3 y0 will appear here this guy will appear here this guy will appear here and this guy will appear here that's all so if you propagate it like that you will find that final c out is less redundant okay but the reason i am retaining this is you will see in the next 10 minutes or so okay any other questions on the carry save multiplier just the construction right now we will go ahead and do this critical path analysis okay so now let us do the same exercise t and equals 1 t sum equals 1 t carry equals 1 just for an example here so let us now put the arrival times output of all AND gates is 1 arrival time so this will be 1 1 1 1 1 1 right this will also be 1 okay now what about the first row when will the sum be ready z1 2 when will the <laughs> carry be ready 2 right this guy what is the arrival time 2 this is also 2 this also is 2 now next stage this z2 will arrive at 3 this is 3 what about this guy you are going to select between max arrival time which is 2 1 2 so the max arrival time is 2 plus another unit time you get 3 and then z3 will be ready at 4 right now what about the output of this guy here 4 previous guy I mean the next one 4 4 4 correct what about the sum this guy 4 4 So now we are going to propagate it to that final adder which is basically a ripple adder right. So <laughs> when will z4 be ready 5 z5 6 7 8 right. Now I will ask you what is the critical path for this simply take the highest guy then track the next sorry not this guy you come here oh okay we have to write that arrival time also if 5 5 6 7 then simply track this sorry this will be my critical path right you go up uh, it can't be this right 3 is here and then you basically pick this guy and then come here right so the critical path now gets very well defined like this one path is clearly longer than the other paths which path ah yeah yeah from here you can even go here you mean this way right so it turns out these two paths are the same the delay will be the same effectively if you want to write the delay of this path carry save it's going to be t and plus how many things to propagate down huh Why MT carry? I am asking only till here. 
till the input to that ripple adder finally m minus 1 d sum plus the final stage is called a vector merge stage this guy is vector merge okay now observe what happens there the inputs to this final adder stage all of them arrive at the same time you see all the arrival times are 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. So, it is like basically a ripple adder where all the inputs are arriving at the same time. So, therefore, the final stage you can speed up by making it some other adder carry save, I mean a carry select or a carry uh, you know skip or even a carry look at adder right. So, we will simply call this as T merge delay. Now, this depending on what architecture of adder you choose, it will be O of n of or O of n minus 1. If it is a ripple adder, then this will simply be n minus 1 t sum plus sorry t carry. So, right. So, you will find in your project when you implement this and implement a ripple adder, you will get some delay. If you replace this with a carry look at adder, you will gain a lot of time because this T merge delay is as much as this delay. If you look at the numbers n minus 1 T carry <laughs> plus T sum, T and plus m minus 1 T sum, they are very very similar numbers. So, therefore, that final addition is on the critical path. So, that is why it does not even matter whether I came along this path or this path because ultimately from there you are going to the T merge vector merge array anyway right that was your question right why you I chose this path and not I am saying it does not matter because I am now going to T merge after that ok. So, with this we have you will find that you are able to optimize the multiplier very well.